I talk about this a lot is the non-writing writing time, which is really important. I make a list of movies and books and I make a playlist and stuff that's specific mm -hmm. to a project I'm working on so that when I'm stuck or frankly, there's a pandemic happening and I just can't open my laptop that day to write, I'll still be working because I'll be watching these references or watching these things. But you're still sort of consciously while you're doing that, thinking about what you're working on. Whereas when you talk to somebody else about their work and particularly something that has nothing to do with you and there's no responsibility in it, you're just helping. It gives you this freedom in your brain to just relax. A lot of times the subtext of questions that I get from writers starting out sort of implies to me that they're putting great importance on whatever their next piece of material is. They don't want to waste any of the words because this next word might be the one that sort of breaks through versus being like, well, it's a long road. You don't know which script Spielberg is going to be like, this is cool, right? Um, <laughs> sure. You yeah, hope sure. It's going to happen like it happened with you. But like, you know, in the meantime, you're just writing every day. And so there's a generosity to what you're describing where it makes you such a better writer to go into oh, yeah. somebody else's problems purely to help them do their thing. That's not even really your thing. That's the opposite of wasted effort because- Oh, to totally. I have been so fortunate to have people and colleagues and friends in my life who have read stuff for me and given me notes without anything in return for a really long time. Find those people mm -hmm. that, they, by the way, they don't have to be writers. Most of the people who read my first drafts are not writers. I have a cinematographer, a casting director, my best friend who's a sommelier, my mom. Like I've, I've gone out, I've done mm -hmm. anybody and anybody who will read it. And because you just never know if one of those people is going to have the nugget that you need that's going to make this better or see this differently or see something you didn't see. And so I think like in this period of time, it's really great to find that group of people, find that quorum that will help you kind of push your work without any pressure, you know? I think that's such a smart tip to give people and one I would not have thought of. So thank you. The idea that when people are saying, how do I improve? How do I get better? How do I look at my draft with fresh eyes? It's like, you do that by telling your friend, do you want me to read your draft? Or like, do you have an idea you want to just shoot the shit with me about? I will help you. That's like a yeah. secret way to get writer's room experience. It's just to do that for oh. other people and ask them to do it for you. And I think what you just said is is absolutely true. It's an amazing way to get writer's room experience from doing this. Let's do my idea for a day. We'll break it for a day. I'll tell you where I'm at. I'll probably be pissy because I don't like some of your notes, but some of the stuff you'll have is going to be good. And after we get off the call, I'll be really, I'll realize you were smarter than I was and all those things. You do that and then we'll do your idea tomorrow. And then you do that. And it, it's, I think it's a really good point to do that. One of the most brilliant things about being in a writer's room that is tailor-made to be recreated in a situation like the one we are now proposing to the world. People get a Zoom buddy while they're yeah. at home and just act as each other's rooms to flesh out ideas. So when you're in a writer's room, the process is solve the next problem, solve the next problem, solve the next problem, add all of these things together and you get the structure of an episode. So what mm -hmm. it trains your brain to do is continually ask yourself, wait, what problem am I trying to solve right now? When you're, you're in the listening box on the Zoom, then you're in a position to really flex that muscle because you're mm -hmm. like, I'll be like, what problem am I trying to help Liz solve right now? Mm -hmm. And when you go back to your own writing, you'll be a different writer.